Good morning, namaste, hola, bonjour and maravdan. This is Namya Joshi, your host for the day. Welcome to the 6th episode of the podcast, Each One Teach 10, an amazing world of STEM, an inspiring venture where we will be discussing that STEM is part of every day for every kid. We all will learn together how to build a STEM culture. So I know we all love augmented and virtual reality. To expand our knowledge more about that topic, let me tell you something about my guest. Mr. Pekka Arli, e-learning specialist, team leader at Bokeh, MIE fellow, global Minecraft mentor, XR project manager. How are you doing, Mr. Pekka? Uh, I'm doing fine. Uh, how are you, you doing, Namia? I'm doing good. It's a pleasure to have you on my podcast, sir. Thank you. It's uh, very nice to be here. Thank you, sir. Um, our audience are eagerly waiting to know more about you. So could you please tell us about yourself? Uh, I work at Finland, Anekoski, and we have a learning place called DigiLab. And we are testing and doing uh, quick demos of different techniques that can be used in the school and in the work life. Wow, that's amazing. And Mr. Pekka, I know what you're passionate, passionate about and I've seen you when I met you in Finland. So let our audience know about your passion. Uh, I think my passion is to uh, get people inspired and uh, when people come to DigiLab, uh, we often ask people, uh, what's your passion and what they want to do? And I think that this virtual reality and STEM, they are just tools to achieve your passions. Yes, sir. And I have my personal memories uh, visiting the DigiLab in Poké. And I cannot forget that I was gifted some 3D model by Mr. Yuka. So what are the coolest things that have happened in DigiLab during 2020? Uh, th that's cool that uh, you have still those 3D models. And yes, uh, I, 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 th uh, I, I think that one of the coolest things is that uh, Yuka did 3D Art Expo in all space. And uh, I could send you the link. You could visit that place uh, if you are not already visited. I don't know. And uh, I think it's it has been really, really big year for uh, virtual reality and extended reality. And uh, we also did some uh, COVID face mask masks using uh, 3D printing. We did it for uh, for our local healthcare, and it was a really successful and cool project. Uh, we couldn't buy them, but we could 3D print them. And uh, last week we did a, a virtual reality campus for Uvascula University. And uh, I was speaking there at the opening gala with our students and uh, uh, people uh, from uh, from DigiLab. And so I think uh, quite cool things have happened during this year. Wow, that's pretty interesting. And the way we teleport in Minecraft, I believe that using augmented and virtual reality it has teleported me three or four times and I met you in Finland during 2020 and that too during this COVID time. So as you know, that 2021 has begun. So what are you waiting from 2021? Uh, I think that um, what I'm waiting most is that uh, we applied funding for a future work project from um, Leader Visari, and uh, we managed to get Sat Paul Mittal School from India, 
and uh, one school from uh, Lebanon, Beirut. Uh, we are getting a new media house from Poland, Radom, and there's a Lucas Kierek. And from Portugal, we are getting school from Nuno Moutinho. And I think we can continue and make these awesome things. And as you have been visiting our events in virtual reality, we can make yeah. together those places. And uh, as we have Ania Festival here at Anekoski town next summer, uh, I'm thinking that we could make uh, some art expo. Uh, I heard that you are, are, are doing some drawings and art also. Yes, uh, I just love making some of the sketches every day. Yeah, and uh, I think that it would, it would be cool that if we make international virtual reality art expo, what you're thinking about that? That's amazing. I would love to see those. It like when I was wearing the headset and uh, trying that out in Finland, it was like so amazing and seeing beautiful things. It actually teleports me and uh, like I was just sitting in a room but I was actually feeling like I'm in the jungle. So like using art, that would be interesting for students as well. Yes, and, and I'm thinking that uh, we could make um, people to visit and discuss about their passions and uh, ideas, what they, what they are doing. And uh, so they can meet the artists like you, and they can meet the people that are able to create uh, like uh, virtual reality environments. Um, yes, so and our school, we are actually fortunate to be associated with you and I'm sure it's going to be a great journey. So uh, what is uh, the secret? So, yes, sir. Yes. Sir. I, I totally agree that uh, it will be really beneficial for both of us. Yes, sir. It's going to be and we're very excited for that. So according to you, what is the secret sauce to STEM and what are the skills of the future that we can learn these things now? Uh, I think the skills of the future uh, are something that uh, the robots and machines can do. I think the creativity is one thing. And I think that's why I was talking about uh, making and creating this virtual reality art expo. I think it's both thinking about uh, spaces that don't yet exist. We can make them and we can uh, make art, music, stuff like that there. And it's really he helping us to learn new things, how we can create. And uh, uh, one, one thing is continuous learning and change adaption. And I think that these kind of solutions, uh, we can uh, find new ways to collaborate and uh, adapt like this situation with COVID. And I, I think we are getting the vaccine. Uh, during the 2021, but yes, we, but we are able to uh, collaborate more, as you said. Told that you have been visiting our events. Yeah. Uh, uh, we can tell people that uh, they don't have to buy tickets, and uh, they they can meet their uh, their passions and peoples and ideas. And uh, I think emotional intelligence and team play is a very good uh, uh, sk and needed skill. And I think the team play in international uh, teams will be much, much, much needed. And uh, I want to introduce people like you to people in Finland and Lebanon, Poland, Portugal, and you will be able to uh, share your ideas. So I, I think that this 
skill of the future uh, uh, something like uh, let's create amazing things together yes and I actually truly really resonate with your thoughts like uh, learning with social and emotional learning also using gameplay that actually is very interesting when it comes to students so if you could please tell for our audience that where can they find you online okay um, uh, you can find us on uh, uh, internet we have our school has web pages and uh, uh, poke.fi and uh, there's uh, some English pages and some English brochures but I think that if you are using Instagram uh, you can search for poke digilab there are some examples what we have been doing and uh, I also post a lot of things at LinkedIn so my personal Becca Oli can be found in LinkedIn and also at Twitter. Thank you so much, Mr. Becca. And before we sign off, any message you would like to give to our audience? Uh, I think that uh, my message uh, that we can learn these things now. Uh, we don't have to wait the future. And uh, I think that uh, when we are meeting each other, uh, we are finding new possibilities. And uh, when we first met, uh, when you came to assist us at educating Mikompuisto kindergarten teachers, uh, uh, I, I think it was a good example that uh, those teachers realized that uh, they have new tool that can be used in very different way that they uh, they imagined and I, I think that uh, many things people think it's a science fiction but then someone came comes there and tells that uh, it's not hard thing you can design towns or a future with Minecraft uh, like you have been showing that you can do all kind of things with uh, Minecraft and uh, I, I think that we can uh, tell that uh, learning is also fun if you have a passion and you are le learning something something that helps you to do your passion I think that 2021 will be excellent year Thank you so much, Mr. Pekka. And I refreshed my memories by talking with you. Like the Northern Lights, I actually wanted to see them when I came to Finland, but couldn't see it. But that's okay, maybe someday. And your passion is contagious and draws attention of others. You have certainly given a clear message that there are no boundaries and we can collaborate on any project if we decided to work together. And there was so much to learn from the ideas that you shared and together we can achieve more. So thank you so much, sir. Thank you. And, and I to totally agree that we should <laughs> work more in the future and, uh, make and make amazing things. Yes, sir. So thank you everyone for listening to this podcast and I'll see you in the next one. Till then, each one, teach 10.